The planet's now the property of the National Trust. They've been keeping it preserved. See down there? Gravity satellites holding back the sun. The planet looks the same as ever. I, I thought the continent shifted and things. They did, and the Trust shifted them back. That's a classic Earth. Well, we don't quite own it all yet, but Doctor Who and the National Trust go way back. The places we care for have stood in for different times and places since the very earliest days of the show. French and Ponds in Surrey stood in for the Plains of Troy in a historical story starring William Hartnell, the first Doctor. And since then, the Doctor's been a regular visitor. At more than 2,000 years old, probably, the Doctor would get great value out of a life membership. But there are two places they keep coming back to time after time and that's Tredegar and Dufferin Houses, both coincidentally quite near Cardiff. They've been in 21 stories so far. So why do they keep coming back to these places? We love the National Trust. And they're tremendously welcoming and tremendously um, can do, and they really help us to, 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 to kind of bring these places alive. And, and, and I've worked with some lovely people who, you know, who, who really can see the value of what we do as well. So it's been a lovely partnership, actually. I think it helps our cars feel the space. So it makes them feel like they're in that world in a way that a set can do it to a certain extent and a good set can do it very well. But nothing beats being in a place, I think. And um, there's something amazing, actually, when the cars walk through the door of a location. And it's something, and um, it's something they've only read about in the scripts, and they sort of think of me sort of like, Whoa. and that to me is just wonderful because it means they can bring so much more to their performance. So that stuff is important, I think. Trudiga is just a magical sort of location, isn't it? It's just such a beautiful, um, beautiful property, beautiful house, beautiful gardens, um, and it does it lends itself so well to sort of you know to a Doctor Who episode. You know, there's so many different rooms. Um, mm -hmm. The exterior, the gardens, the stables, it's, it's just fabulous. And, you know, having it right on our doorstep, we're based in Cardiff. You do your house is just down the outskirts of Newport. There's, there's no doubt that we, we're going to need natural trust properties in years to come, I hope. Welcome to Tradiga House. What's it like when you've got a full film crew in here? It's so exciting. Uh, it's so different to what we do. You know, day to day, we're open for visitors to come and explore the house but all of a sudden you have upwards of 100 people descend on you. And it's everything from the lighting departments to makeup to scaffolders um, and all of the vehicles that come with them as well. The logistics are quite incredible, but to have them here is so exciting. There's such a buzz about the place and everyone's, you know, wants to make it work. Everyone's coming together as a team, whether it's the crew themselves through to our staff and volunteers, it's really brilliant. How do you protect somewhere like this from any knocks or damage? Well, it's something we have to be really careful of. You know, first and foremost, we're a conservation charity. So there are lots of meetings, lots of planning beforehand. Doctor Who themselves, you know, are just as concerned to, to look after the place as we are. So it's really working together. Often they will want to dress rooms completely, which always leaves us with a bit of a headache of where do you put the stuff that they don't want to have in the shot. So whereas this room has been used uh, as Versailles in Doctor Who, the last time they were here, it was actually used to store furniture. Can you show me some of the other rooms and tell me what they were used for? Yeah, with pleasure. This part of the cellars was used as Cassandra's lair in story New Earth. And while visitors on a normal day-to-day -day visit don't get to see this area, most of the house is open at some point on special tours where people can come behind the scenes and explore and have a good nose around with us. National Trust places up and down the country have been used for filming everything from Game of Thrones to Antiques Roadshow. But there's one place that's never been filmed before, and I can take you there now. I just have to set my vortex manipulator. This is where the National Trust filming locations team are based. I'll go and see if any of them want to talk to me. So, Harvey, tell me, why do we do it? All the money goes directly to the property of the host of the filming. Right, so to the actual property. To the actual work. property, yeah. So quite often there's a conservation project that's probably been on the back burner waiting funding, so we can do that now. That's one benefit. The other benefit is uh, it drives visitors. There's a phenomenon called set jetting, which is basically tourists going to the place that they've seen in a film. So just by us saying yes, 
um, that helps the local economy because obviously the film crew comes down and outside of hotels everything else they need to buy they will buy locally. One of the things I did when I got, got here to set up the film unit was I wanted to change the perception with the film industry of the trust so I think they were thinking the trust is okay for frocks and bonnets so we had to re-educate the industry and say look we've got mills we've got a workhouse we own 700 miles of coastline you know just ask us and we may have it. So now the range, every, everything from, you know, we've done EastEnders, we've done Sandman, uh, we've done Bridgerton, Horrible Histories. So there's a massive variety. If you want to find out more about the places where some of your favourite film and TV programmes are made, there's lots more information on the film and TV pages of the National Trust website. And keep an eye on Doctor Who in 2024. You never know, you might just spot one or two of our places in there. Happy times and places, everyone.